Hi, Tom from SolarA here. Thanks for joining me. Um, so I got inspired to do this video the other day after talking to a family friend who uh, she's got kids that are kind of halfway out and uh, both her and her husband are looking to retire within the next few years or so. Um, and, and so basically she wanted to look at how she can completely replace her power bill with solar power. And it's something that a lot more people are doing. So we're helping a lot more um, customers install either solar with the idea that they're going to add a battery in the next year or two, or that they're going to include the battery with the solar now and, and basically size up the system to completely replace their power bill. And it's a great idea. However, for most for most households, it's going to be better to get your bills, say, under $100 or so. And then the, the next best option is if you oversize the system, you can reduce your bill completely. And the reason that you kind of need to look at it in two steps is because on your bill, you've got, you, you pay for the power that you use, which is a um, an amount per kilowatt hour. But then you've also got the service charge, which is for most households, roughly 90 cents to a dollar a day. And so with solar power, it's very easy to um, size up a system to replace the power that you're using in the home. But then it's another step on top of that to uh, send power out to the grid so that you get a credit on your bill that will then kind of cancel out your service charge. So with this video, I just want to quickly go through some numbers. In this case, it will be looking at a 10 kilowatt system because that's one of the, the, the more common sizes that, that, um, that households are going for at the moment. So if we have a look at, um, here we go, the next slide, which is the output of a 10 kilowatt system across the year. My family friend, she, her household, they were using about 25 kilowatt hours a, a day, but that was for three bills, so quarter, we, three quarterly bills, and then the summer bill was a lot higher. So the husband has been at home, working from home, um, and they were using quite a lot of air conditioning. And they've also got pool pumps. So during the summer, they actually had quite a large bill and they were worried that um, the solar might do a decent job for most of the year, but they're wondering how they could uh, cover their quite high usage in the summer months. And looking at the output of a solar system in Sydney, you can see solar actually works really well with things such as air conditioning and pool pumps that, that work during the daytime in the summer. The flip side of that is, of course, it doesn't work so well with things that you use a lot of in the evening or in the winter, such as heating. So if you've got a usage of about 25 kilowatt hours a day, which is fairly typical, um, personally, I've been as low as eight when I was um, in an apartment with my partner, and now I'm up around 50 with in a home with, with a kid and all types of things running in the background. So I know that it can vary quite a lot from household to household, also across your lifetime and across each individual year with summer being different to winter. So each house is going to be different, which is why we really do recommend that you give us a call. And within about 10 minutes, we can give you some, some personalized numbers based on what you're doing in your home. To start with, though, let's have a look at what we're doing in previous years, which was trying to work out how much power you would use during the daytime, or more accurately, what you can use once you've got solar. So for example, dishwashers and washing machines you can run during the day to use up all the solar power rather than doing it at nighttime. And so we would take that number, which for example, might be 24 kilowatt hours a day, and then divide it by four. And the, the reason we do that is because a system in Sydney outputs about four times its size. So in this case, if you've got um, 24, 24 kilowatt hours during the 24 hours, um, it might be about half of that during the daytime. So 12 then divided by four would give you a three kilowatt system because on average, a three kilowatt system would do 12 kilowatt hours. But you can see here, it varies quite a lot. So what we do now, uh, because almost everyone's going to either install a battery with their solar or in the next few years, and I mean that literally already, we're, we're well above 50%. And in many months, much, much higher than that. So um, what we do is we size up the system based on your 24 hour usage, which in this case with my family friend, they were about 25 kilowatt hours um, in the winter and, and autumn and spring. So that works really well with this system. So they would use as much uh, solar power during the day as possible. And then any excess power, which you can see begins to happen outside of the winter months, would then go into the battery, which they would use to power the home during the evening. 
you can see that line there that's that's the average which is which is 40 kilowatt hours a day i put a little arrow on there so that's the average and we still do like to use the average however um because the output varies so much we we now like to look at how much you're able to use in summer as well as winter and then size up the system based on that so a 10 kilowatt system in this example where a household's using about 25 kilowatt hours a day actually is sized up really well assuming you're going to add battery um, about you know a tesla power wall is 14 kilowatt hours of capacity so that's that's going to be enough for this household so the next slide i want to get into some numbers of how a 10 kilowatt system can actually reduce your bill so if you look at this bill here which is um, a house that doesn't have solar so there's no uh, benefit to this bill from a solar system you can see there's two very um, different areas you've got the amount of amount of power that they're using and then paying for per kilowatt hour and then there's a line item where you pay where they're paying 92 cents a day so that's the service charge for um, for the the privilege the ability to be able to use electricity and it doesn't matter how much power you use you're always going to have to pay that then at the bottom is GST and the total is then how much you pay. So with the amount of electricity that a household uses, we can size up the system to pretty much eliminate the first part of this, which is all the power that they're using and, and paying for. But then the second part is the service charge. So if you want to completely eliminate your bill, we're going to need to send 92 cents worth of solar power to the grid on top of how much um, solar power you're using in the home. So if you have a look at typical feeding tariffs and they bounce around a lot so they've been above 20 cents a kilowatt hour before but they've also been a lot lower than where they are now so this is a plan from energy locals which is a company that we uh, do recommend they've got some really good plans um, for for households with or without solar but you can see here their their retailer feeding tariff is seven cents a kilowatt hour so if you take that number into some fairly basic maths here so it's going to take 13 kilowatt hours sent to the grid at seven cents per kilowatt hour to make 91 cents a day and so that will basically cover the 92 cents a day that 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 example bill is paying for their service charge and because the solar system outputs four times its size on an average day in sydney we're going to need 3.3 kilowatts of additional solar power uh, to generate those 13 kilowatt hours a day now keep in mind it's a little bit uh, different between summer and winter and we're using averages here but nonetheless um, it's a pretty good baseline number to go off so then in this case what we're looking at is a 6.6 .6 kilowatt system now becomes a 9.9 .9 or a 10 kilowatt solar system so what does that do to your bill it's basically um, in in the good old days we'd size up a system so that you'd try and use about 70 percent of the solar power as it's being generated but now with battery storage we can very realistically get up to 100 percent and so then if you oversize your system like what we just did there plus you have a battery you can actually um without all that much management you know you don't need to be running around yelling at the kids to turn off the lights and that type of thing you can live a fairly normal life and and eliminate your bills and and we do have quite a lot of customers now doing that this is one example that we uh, have it as, as a testimonial up on YouTube and on our website. This lady's name is um, Angela. And so she's got a Tesla Powerwall there in the garage with a nice size solar system up on the roof. And she's done exactly what we just went through there. So her bill went from $600 um, to down to a $40 credit. To do this, you do need to be careful because a lot of households after going solar, they go a bit crazy with their energy usage, thinking that everything's now free. So the key point to this is if you want to reduce your bills to zero or even better, you still need to be careful with your energy usage. So you don't want to increase it. And if possible, you want to reduce it even further. And, and then on top of that, you've got the solar system covering everything during the day, excess solar power going into the battery. And then once, once the battery is full, the additional solar power can go out to the grid to kind of start covering off the service charge. Now, a lot of people here will be like, well, it doesn't really make sense to send solar power out to the grid and only get paid seven cents a kilowatt hour. And what makes sense for one household won't make sense for another. So I've got friends, for example, that have bought spas but have them turned off because they can't afford the power. So with solar, you can start 
investing in things that improve your lifestyle. So it could be a spa. It could be, um, it could even just be that you stop stressing so much about the pool pumps or the air conditioning. I have a grandma who hates turning on the air conditioner because it costs too much money. Well, with solar, you can stop worrying. And that's something that a lot of people really value. So that type of thing is often more valuable than actually having a $0 power bill as opposed to, say, a quarterly bill that comfortably comes in under $100. And these are the types of things that we can chat with you about and work out what's what's right for you. And that's why we say there's it's not one system fits all. And we really don't like the idea where um, a company will try to sell a 6.6 .6 kilowatt system to everyone that calls because every household is different. And we want to make sure that you get the right system for your lifestyle as well as your power usage. The other thing we haven't talked about here is electric cars. And that's a whole extra layer of, that comes into it. But we do have a lot of people now looking to charge their EVs, not entirely, of course, but just partially from the solar system. And that's something that we can help you with as well. So if that all sounds interesting and you're keen to take it to the next step, um, within about 10 minutes, we can give you three uh, key numbers, which is the size system that's going to suit you best, how much it costs, and how much you're going to be able to save with some realistic expectations. We might try and get a system that's a little bit smaller, but you're still going to have a bit of a bill to pay, say $150 a quarter or something like that. Or we can oversize it like we've done in this example. And then the expectation is that with, with smart power usage, you can get a, a $0 bill or even being credit like with Angela. So the, the, the number is on the screen there. And we'll put a link down below so you can book a, a call directly in our calendar and we'll call you back at a time that suits you. We promise not to hassle you. We, we do get a lot of people say that they put in an inquiry for three solar quotes on the internet and their phone never stops ringing. We're well aware of that and we, we really um, take pride in not hassling people. So um, it's a, it's a pressure-free sales call and we'll leave it with you to then decide what you want to do. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in, give us a call or, or click on the link below and we hope to hear from you.